Ooh, here we are now. It is like almost 10 o'clock at night. Just got to the event, just got teched in. Um, here's a track map. Apparently you go around this twice. Going around this twice equals one lap. So technically it's 16 laps around this tonight. Whew. Gonna be intense. It's been a long day as is. I got like an hour nap. Shout out to Michael. Uh, got a little nap going on at, at his place. But uh, yeah, I'm about to go, go walk the course here. Probably twice and get ready. I'm in run group B, number six. Um, hopefully I can get somebody to record me some laps. Always wound up finding somebody. I made the GoPro charged up, get you some more angles like earlier. I went through and re reviewed some of that footage. It was definitely nice. And still, not 100% decided on if this is going to be a two part video. So if this is and you haven't seen part one yet, definitely check that out. Uh, Lubbock stuff today was definitely freaking sick. And they still haven't given me the results yet. Like the overall results for the day. So I'm waiting on that to post up online. But, uh, wow. I've been wanting to do a double autocross event for quite some time. And I am so freaking exhausted. It is ridiculous. It is beyond ridiculous. And I still have like an hour and a half drive back tonight when this is over. At like, this is probably going to run to like 3 in the morning since we're doing a uh, double lap around this thing. So, but it's all fun. Definitely getting some some seat time with the new setup. Uh, now, earlier today's course was more, you know, open, not very tight. This isn't even too tight, really. There's a couple spots where it's going to be, but the car is not going to act the same. You know, it's two different types of courses and surfaces and temperatures and all that jazz. So we'll see how the car does. I'm excited. here working the track right now um, wow first session went absolutely phenomenal I got better with each lap um, I, I'm dead freaking tired I am running off pure adrenaline right now uh, car feels freaking phenomenal you had like the more open type of course this morning and more a kind of tighter course now the car feels great it I am I'm blown away like I said a little more camber better brakes um, the only thing limiting me right now is because this is like a first gear kind of course so i'm staying in there's no benefit at all going into second gear i would lose so much time up shifting and down shifting uh hashtag dsg's better or whatever um if i had a little more rpm because at 7200 if i could rev out to like 8 8500 like i want to with the build head which will be coming next year um i'd be able to take quite a bit more time off there is one spot actually he's about to hit it right now so coming around this circle part, I could, if I carry more, like a lot more speed around there and then brake really hard right there, right here, there's a bunch of gravel. So you gotta be careful right there and then I smash it right there. But um, I'm gonna try that out. I got four more laps to go in the second half. I think that's like the main spot where I can make up time. So we'll see what I can do. I'm gonna do the GoPro like I did earlier today on the side and the top of the car for a couple of laps. Tire pressure staying constant. It's, it's actually a really cool night out. It's nice. The E85 running at autocross is actually really nice with it. I'm going to have to probably start doing that. The extra power, you can definitely feel it um, in a good way. It's really, really good. So I'm happy. Very happy. Now I need to make up some time. <laughs>
water. This is a big corner, big corner up there. This is a real big corner here before you get to that. There's just water everywhere. Well, that wraps up the night. I don't know, you could probably see in that one GoPro clip, uh, there's water everywhere on the track. It splashed up all over the GoPro. There's the sprinkler systems on and like one, two, three different spots you go through water, like right at a corner or right before a corner. It messes you up, especially when you're running tires like this that don't really have any uh, grooves to let water out. Like that first half second, second is just like, it slipped until that water gets off the tires. So second half wasn't able to uh, overcome my best time in the last, which was like 55, four, I think. I haven't looked at my last lap time yet, which was, it felt really, really good. I went one ham on it, of course, as you should, but without water out there, kind of messed everything up. But overall, I mean, with this morning's autocross, tonight's autocross, it's, it's been awesome. Two autocross events in one day. I've been wanting to do this for well over a year now. So that's one of my things I can check off my, uh, you know, my to-do list of life very very happy with that and the next weekend going to california drink a beer looking at the you know pacific ocean all that at sunset you know i've been drinking beer doing it on the on the east coast for a while sorry about the come on focus but uh overall great night i don't know how i placed up against everybody it wasn't nor as many people as normally we have about 30 tonight was only 21 so we'll see how i fare up um, in actual classes, but I think as of right now, there's still one more class to go. I think as of right now, I'm sitting at like fifth overall, which ain't bad. I can't complain. It's been a great, the car feels great. Like I said, a little bit of camber, um, better brakes, will be good. Brakes weren't too bad now, now that it's a lot cooler out tonight, 77 degrees. Um, brakes are acting a lot better than what they were this morning, so. Man, now I have an hour and a half drive back. It is two o'clock. Texas time, so if I'm not gonna get home till late, late, I'll probably start laundry and then probably wind up passing out on the couch, as you do. But yeah, we'll skip to awards. Well, guys, it's a couple of days later. I'm finishing up this video, but I did take one home, August 2019. I can add that to my uh, wall of fame up here. Ah, uh, wow, wow. Okay, so tomorrow morning, leaving for California. We got Canyon Runs Saturday at some point, I think. Canyon Run, which is, and this one, the event's on Facebook Monday. The Big Euro Show Sunday. It's a 14 hour drive there, uh, one way. I just did oil, tire rotation. I got plugs ready to go in when I get there. Uh, there's no point in changing them before that long of a drive, so I'm gonna change them when I get there. They're still good for about another like 2,500 miles or whatever. Um, what else? The event, I've done said it 30 times. Need more camber, better brakes, and I think the car will be set. I need to get front end links and uh, like some bracing, some of that ice sweep bracing for under the car. Uh, lightweight battery. I'm trying to get all that done before the end of the season. So we'll see. There's like two events next month, the 14th and the 21st. Uh, one in Amarillo, one Lubbock, and there should be a Roswell event as well. There's one this weekend, but I'm going to California. And then I know there's two October events for Amarillo as well, and I, the 21st for Lubbock is their last event of the year. So, so a handful more events for the season. Uh, I said a couple more parts. California this weekend, then we got a weekend off, then it's back autocross probably like three weekends in a row. Um, there's a big drag race event, I think, towards the end of September as well. I'm trying to go to Streetcar Takeover Dallas, too. There's still a bunch of shit going on this season. Uh, car's feeling great. Uh, since that event, me and Frank have messed around with the tuning, got launch control a lot better. Um, it feels great, it sounds way different. The launch is a lot better, so I'm very happy with that. We'll see how the car acts. This will be the first time to add um, closer to sea level with the new turbo setup and stuff, so. It'll definitely be uh, an experience seeing how the turbo spools at lower altitude. I, I live at 4,200 feet. I'm not sure what, uh... okay Google. What's the altitude of San Diego? San Diego's elevation is 
San Diego is 62 feet above sea level. So it's a huge difference. The car's gonna act way different out there. I probably will only put it on like an E20, E30 mix. Um, Cause that's, it's gonna be a lot of power <laughs> going down to sea level, I'm excited. But uh, if you're going to the big uh, SoCal Euro show, comment down below, let me know. Uh, stay tuned to my Instagram, cause if there's a meet or anything, I'll, I'll post up stuff there, hit me up, and then we can all like hang out and talk cars and shit. Um, yeah, that's all I got. I'm pretty freaking excited. This is like Thursday morning, got off work early, drinking some beer for breakfast. That's all I got. Questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below, and I'll get you on the flip flop.